Hey everyone, Live It Like Lisa here and today we have my third and final video in my Coastal Decor series. If you haven't seen the previous two, I will leave them in a link down below in the description box so you can check those out. And yeah, today we are going to be giving these little paddles a bit of a makeover and how pretty freaking fantastic do they look currently. <laughs> oh gosh. So yeah, I'm just updating them for a little cafe. I mean, I, I'm not really into coastal decor. Like, I love it. I love the way it looks, actually. But my house is more sort of the farmhouse country style decor. So this is actually just for a little cafe near the beach. We're just starting by pretty much stripping these back to nothing, getting all the terrible <laughs> little crabs and starfish off them. And I'm going to be giving them a couple of coats of white chalk paint, like I've done with all of these makeovers. All right, so now that we've got a clean slate, I'm going to give these a couple of coats of white chalk paint. I use my own homemade chalk paint for this, and I've shared it in numerous videos of, of what, you know, how to make your own chalk paint, which I find a lot more economical than, um, than buying it ready-made. So I ended up giving these about... Uh, three coats all up. Okay, now for the fun part, the decorating. So what I'm doing here, I've just got some gauze, like bandage type gauze stuff, and I'm just cutting a couple of little pieces to put on each paddle as a bit of a texture background. And I, <laughs> I don't have in mind at this stage what I'm going to actually do. I just let like let the creativity flow and just go with the flow and whatever you know whatever I can come up with so I've got the gauze there and I've got some uh, burlap like hessian burlap that I'm also going to use as a bit of a texture background and like I said we're doing a very neutral decor theme with these paddles so um, yeah what I'm doing here is just fraying some of that uh, burlap so we've got a bit of a frayed fringy edge and I'm so, like these honestly like I am so happy with the way they turned out I almost wanted to keep them but I just didn't really have anywhere to put them in my house these were my favorite out of all the projects that I did I like these ones the most and they actually get a quite a bit of um, compliments in the shop as well so next we're going in with a bit of, um, I don't know what you call this stuff. It's the stuff that you can get at Halloween, like that, oh, I don't even know. <laughs> you can see it here. It normally comes in black at Halloween, but last year they had white, black and grey. And I picked up a few bags of each because I just love using this in quite a few different craft and um, art and craft projects because it's just so versatile and it makes a really good background and as you can see it's very coastal looking I, I you know it reminds me of like the sort of fishing nets and that sort of thing so here I've painted up a couple of I think these stars were part of the decor that was stuck on the wall of the original cafe like before they, they gave it a makeover so I've painted a couple of them up and we're going to be using those as the main focus of the decoration and then here what like what I like to do is just sort of give myself an idea of what how I want it to look before I start gluing it all down and then what I would normally do is take a photo of it all set out the way it is like now like while I'm just placing it on there take a photo of it and then just start gluing the pieces on like I'll, I'll carefully take all that stuff off in roughly the same pattern or design that I've created and then start gluing everything back on um, that's just the way I work because normally I'll like I change my mind a million times when I'm doing stuff like this so I like to get it sort of in my head first of exactly what I want to do before I start gluing anything on so you can see here now I'm just <laughs> carefully going to try and remove everything in the same pattern that it was on the paddle. So I've like put it off to the side in roughly the same uh, spots. I, I hope I'm describing this correctly, but, you know, I'm using, <laughs> I don't even know what I'm trying to say, but I'm basically putting it off to the side in the same formation that it was on the paddle. That's what I want to say. 
And um, now I'm just going to be using a bit of PVA glue to glue the material part of this stuff down. And I still want to keep that wrinkled look, so I'm not going to be gluing it on flat. And I'm not going to be gluing the whole thing on because I just want it, you know, I basically just want it there as a wrinkled and textured background. I'm also just going to use some PVA glue to glue this star on because uh, I just feel PVA glue is a lot stronger than hot glue and a lot more permanent. So while that is all drying, I am going to be repeating these steps for the other two paddle paddles. Okay, so once that all dried, I have now just gone back in and placed all my shells, just sat them on there in the design that I was happy with. And now I'm just picking each one up and gluing it down with some like E6000 glue. Again, like I said, because this is for a cafe, I don't want these to all fall off. So I'm using proper strong glue. I don't like using hot glue at the best of times. But um, yeah, for this project, and especially because the shells can be quite heavy, I'm just using like an E6000 strong type glue. I mean, the only downside of using this type of glue is that you do have to wait until it's fully dry before they're all adhered and you do have to you know have them on a flat surface so they're not going to be moving around um, and it's not an instant fix like hot glue is but at the end of the day I just feel this is a lot more permanent and they're definitely not going to be falling off if someone happens to bump them or something like that. I mean hot glue has its purposes I'm not a big fan if it's a quick and disposable project I'm happy to use it but for something like this I want it to last so this is the best glue for it. Now this is my favorite part adding all the finer details so these little things I don't know where I got them from probably either Spotlight or AliExpress I don't know what they really are I think there's some sort of floral decor but they just really fit perfectly into this coastal decor stuff like to me they just look like little sea anemones or something like that that you would find under the sea so I'm just using just some PVA glue to stick these all in amongst the gaps and I don't know they just bring it to life for me I just think they're really really nice so what I'm actually doing with these is I'm just folding them in half and dipping the folded part into some PVA glue before I actually position them on. Next, I'm just going in with some pearls. I have these in my craft stash and I've just picked out some neutral uh, colored pearls, some whites and a couple of like um, goldy, beigey, peachy sort of colors. And again, I'm just positioning position oh my god I can't say that word positioning them on first to see where I like them and then we'll go in and just glue each individual one on and again just using these uh, PVA glue to glue these on okay so it's a little bit hard to see what I'm doing but I've just got some scrap pieces of uh, the burlap and the hessian here and I'm just basically sticking a few of these randomly over it as well just dipping it in a bit of the PVA glue and sticking them in amongst all the decoration. Alright, so what I'm doing here is I'm just dabbing a heap of um, PVA glue in some of the gaps. And I've got these really, really tiny micro beads. I think they were from a nail art kit that I had from eBay. They're the tiniest, tiniest little pearly sort of decorations. And I'm pretty sure I used to use them like as nail decor. But I'm just sprinkling some of these little pearls in amongst all the gaps where I've just dolloped a big amount of PVA glue. So hopefully they will adhere to that. 
and these are in like a, I've got a few different colors I've got like browns pinks whites and a few, I think I'm not sure if I had like a few goldy colors I don't know if you can really see probably didn't in, end up showing you but they're the tiny tiny micro beads and yeah if you want to pick these up have a look on AliExpress maybe type in micro beads or nail art glitter or nail art kit and I think that's where I got them from it's from like a nail art kit so yeah just sprinkling a few different colors in amongst all those gaps now on each one finish these off all I then did is wrap some uh, jute twine around the top of the handles and that's pretty much it for these I was super happy with the way they've turned out and this is them hanging on the wall in the shop I'll give you a little bit of a close-up so you can see some of the detail but yeah like so easy guys like anyone can do this and look how much better they look from before and I also just distressed around the outside edge of the paddles as well but you can see here a better close-up of those micro beads and I had some other miniature pearls that I also added. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. That was the last in my coastal decor series for now. I don't have any others coming up soon. But, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It is for free. All it will mean is that you get notified next time I upload a video. And it will be sitting there waiting for you to watch. Um, give it a thumbs up if you like this video and share it with your friends. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.